concerning this day, All Saints celebrates the baptized people of God, living and dead, who are the body of Christ. As November heralds the dying of the landscape in many northern regions, the, the readings and the liturgy call us to remember all who have died in Christ and whose baptism is complete. At the Lord's table we gather with the faithful of every time and place, trusting that the promise of God will be fulfilled and that all tears will be wiped away in the new Jerusalem. The opening hymn is on page 175.
think of God with a whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. We confess, saying, Lord, 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 have mercy. Our faith is love our neighbor as ourselves. We confess, saying, Christ, have mercy. And desire for our wound of life, we express, saying, Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. And mighty God, forgive us our sins, strengthen our resolve, and bring us to life eternal. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit your people together in one communion in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Grant us grace to follow your blessed saints and lives of faith and commitment, and to know the inexpressible joys prepared for those who love you. Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The reading announcement. A saint is one who has been set apart by God for God's purposes. God, out of divine love, set us apart to be the children of God. Our holy hope is that we shall see God as God really is. A reading from 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. See what love the Father has given us, what we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has, has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when He is revealed, he will be like, we will be like him, for we see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm is 34, verse 1 to 10, and then 22, can be found in the Green Book on page 231. Fear the Lord, you saints of all the Lord, for those who fear the Lord lack nothing. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will, I will glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord, let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord and he answered me, and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant, and let not your, not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me and saved me of all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him. And he will die, and he will deliver them. Take it and see the Lord is good. Have your faith and trust in him. Fear the Lord, you that are his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. And the young lions lack and suffer honor, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and none will be punished who trust in him. Together, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. The Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew the fifth chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, 
for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed for those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst of righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people who revile you and persecute you, and under all kinds of people against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad. The reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. I've thought about that a lot 
as I got a little older. And to me, it is so totally different from what we know that we can't, our human minds can't begin to comprehend it. I thought it was sort of like trying to describe the colors red, green, or blue to a person born blind. How could you? Or to describe a, a beautiful bird song to a person born deaf. So we see that what God has prepared for us, as scripture says, I has not seen nor ear heard, and it is so wondrously different from anything that we can possibly imagine that we just have to know it's there and look forward to it. Now, as was mentioned in the preface, uh, saints are certainly not perfect people. They are struggling Christians. Every Christian, as was said, is to be considered a saint because the Apostles' Creed says what the Christian church is what the communion of saints are the fellowship of believers. Saints are not perfect individuals. They are struggling Christians, but they struggle with the help of the Lord. I would say that most saints are known to God alone. We can certainly get the flavor of a saint by the behavior of those around us, but only God in his infinite wisdom can read the human heart and know those who are truly committed to and dedicated to him. Now we use the word St. Paul as for our church, or St. John, or St. Matthew, as sort of an honorific, and that's very appropriate. But still, the human heart, the true believers, are something that is in the heart of God alone. Now every day we interact with people, and we do see saintly behavior in many of the people with whom we uh, have live our lives and so on. And I can think of individuals right here at St. Ch Paul's Church whose lives are saintly and who is an example for us, the rest of us, just as the saints of old did. God comes to us in many and various ways, and our saintly work can take many and various forms. We are God's saints. We are called for the rest of humanity to point to God through Jesus Christ by our words and by our works. Let's be a saint, and we are saints. And let's be saintly in our thoughts, in our words, and our deeds. A saint is someone who prays, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief, as did that man coming to Jesus for his sick child. I've said many times, that's one of my favorite passages in all the scripture, because it shows that we can have faith that sometimes isn't as strong as we'd like it to be. This man, did have faith that Jesus could help his child. But then he had those doubts, I suppose, that we sometimes have to deal with. Lord, I believe, help fellow my unbelief. What a great prayer that is. A saint is someone who, with the public and with the temple, prays, Lord, I'm a sinner. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. That publican, as Christ told us, went down to his home, justified, not like the person who stood up far off and bragged to God about all of his goodness and so on. Be merciful to me, his sin. That is the sin's prayer. And then about, what about St. Paul, where he hears God speak to me with those words, my strength, God's strength, is made perfect in your weakness. Paul had various things to deal with, as we know. When he came to the Lord, and the Lord did not heal him of his affliction, but rather gave the assurance that God's strength is made perfect in our afflictions, our weaknesses, our troubles, and so forth. Our appointed gospel for this All Saints Day is the familiar Beatitudes from St. Matthew. And if you read them over and Think about it a little more, you realize they're sort of countercultural, aren't they? 
because uh, even though they are the blueprint for a saintly life, they tell us things that the modern world doesn't want to hear too often. Lowly, being lowly, that's not part of today's world. And peacemaking seems like weakness to many people. Being a saint is challenging always, because we're always going against the flow of the world around us. And that's been true since the first century, even now the 21st century. But with God's help and his strength, we can go against the flow. We just have to put our minds to it and our shoulder to the wheel. I think often of the saints that have gone before us, and often of dear ones who have left us, and I'm sure we all do to a certain extent. You think about our parents, if you've lost them, maybe a good friend, whatever. Because as I mentioned, the older we get, the more memories that we have of those who've gone before us. And do you ever think about the last words of uh, someone you loved? If you knew them, maybe you had a chance to hear the word, maybe not. But I often think of my father's last words. Um, just before he died, he had a heart attack and there were complications and so he knew he was not going to survive, but he was very at peace and ready to, re to leave this world. And I sort of admire that and I hope I could be the same way when I reach that stage in life. And the last thing he said, and he was sort of going into a comma then, and it was very, very clear what he said to me. He had been taken to Sutter, Hos Sutter Hospital over to um, the uh, nursing home on Elvis there to spend the last hours of his life, last day, and so on. And he said, you know, he said, I love your mother, everything's going to be fine. And he died just within an hour or so after that. And I thought about those words. He expressed his love for his wife for 66 years, and then he said, everything's going to be fine. And that's so true. If we are in Christ, and Christ is in us, then no matter what happens in this life, no matter the ups, the downs, the challenges, the roadblocks on the pathway to, to, uh, to our Lord, everything is going to be fine. So I hold that in my heart and mind, and I commit it to you. Whatever happens from this day forward in your life, remember, with Christ, Everything always will be fine in the long run. Amen. The prayers of the church. United in one by the power of the Holy Spirit, let us pray for all in need. God of glory, we ask your blessing on all who guide your church. Grant them wisdom and compassion as they embody your grace in their lives from day to day. Especially be with all bishops, pastors, deacons, and lay leaders. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We seek your wisdom so that we can use rightly all that we receive from your bounty. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We seek your sustaining presence for all who suffer the effects of violence and bloodshed throughout the world. Where there is pain, bring comfort. Where there is despair, bring mercy and hope. Be present with all, with our president and Congress and our governor and legislature. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We seek your healing for all who struggle in body, mind, or spirit. Refresh and uphold them with your sustaining presence, especially those we now name in our hearts before you. Lord, in your mercy. 
Hear our prayer. We pray especially for our St. Paul's faith community as we seek to discern your will for us and as we face a future known to you alone. Be our strength, our stay, and our guide. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray that you remind us to rejoice in your promises as we remember those who have gone before us with the sign of faith, especially those most dear to us whom we now name in our hearts. May light perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Holy One, we entrust all whom we pray, confident in your abundant and abiding mercy, through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Together. Accept these gifts of our love, O Lord. We give you them to be willingly, cheerfully, thankfully, knowing all we have has come from you. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, my friends. It is truly meek and salutary that we should at all times and all places give thanks and to you. Through Christ our Lord, who in the blessedness of his saints have given us a glorious pledge of the hope of our calling, that following their example and being strengthened by their fellowship, we may exalt in you for thy mercy, for your mercy, even as they rejoice with you in glory. Therefore, the angels and archangels, all the company of heaven, who join in their unending hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of the power of God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you thanks, O Father, for the goodness and love which have been known to us in creation, in the covenant of Israel, in the words of the prophets, and above all in Jesus Christ, your Son, who in the night in which he was betrayed to bread and give thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you to this remembrance of you. Recalling now his suffering and death, celebrating his resurrection ascension, and looking for his coming again, we ask you, Father, of the power of the Holy Spirit, to bless and sanctify this gift of bread, that it may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, through whom, with whom, and in whom we have life and salvation, and because of whom we can with confidence approach him through the grace, with us our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. Together. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us this peace.
together. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My eyes and 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 eyes Pray that in your mercy you would strengthen us from skin, in faith for you, and in fervent love for one another, one another, for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. Lord, make may the Savior shine upon you, be gracious unto you. Lord, upon your favor, give you his peace, now and forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth in peace, love and serve the Lord. Thank you, God. Final hymn is number 176. 176.